Joining us here today is freshman of the year in the Southern Conference, Preston Parks. Preston, how are you doing? Yeah, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. So let, let's get right into it. Uh, class of 2020 hel uh, helped set eight single season program records this season. What's the key to all of you guys' great chemistry and things like that this season? I think just from summertime being together, you know, everybody told their stories of how they ended up here. And I think from just from summertime, we became a family, spending so much time together. And they really helped our chemistry on the court. What does it mean to you to be just the second Bulldog ever and the first since 2008 to be SoCon Player of the Year or SoCon Freshman of the Year? Uh, it means a lot to me. You know, I worked hard for it. My teammates worked hard with me, and it gave me a lot of confidence. So it was my coaches. Um, so it feels good to be able to accomplish that. Absolutely. So you also broke the single season program record for most points scored by a freshman. Where does that rank on your list of personal accomplishments? It ranks pretty high because you know this is my first year in college. Mm -hmm. So that's. That ranks pretty high for me because in high school, I, I got a scoring record, but that wasn't until my senior year. So to be able to come into college and get that my freshman year, that's, that's a big goal for me. Absolutely. And with all these accomplishments, how do you stay grounded heading into your sophomore campaign? Oh, I, I always stay humble. You know, that was last year. To me, it's last year now because the season's over with. So this is a new year, a new goal for me and um, my teammates. So the new goal is just win as many games as we can this year and just do better than I did last year. Absolutely. So you kind of got off to a slow start the season, but you seemed to really catch fire at the beginning of December, really, with that Holy City Hoops Classic uh, coming off the bench, scoring a lot of points. I think you had a 20-point game and I think even a 30-point game in that uh, that span. What started to click for you and what was the difference? Um, I say the coaching staff and my teammates just keeping confidence with me. You know, I, beginning of the game, not the beginning of the game, beginning of the season, I wasn't really playing well, I wasn't shooting well. My mm -hmm. coaches and my teammates said, if you keep shooting, it's, your time's going to come in. Hoops Hall Classic came, and I just started having good games. And since ever then, ever since then, I've been playing well. Absolutely, and you know the the team won three of their last four games. What was different in those last few games for you guys? Um, I think our motivation. You know, we were motivated to win. We didn't want to. We didn't want to be last in the conference. You know, we were last last year. We didn't want to be last this year. So I think the motivation and us just staying together, trusting the process, and keeping. Uh, keeping trust in one another, that really helped us a lot and helped us win those last three games. I heard, uh, I watched the press conference, Coach Balkum after the UNCG game, and he said that's the most resilient team he's ever had. And I think, well, what does that say to you and, you know, the freshmen and sophomores? I mean, really, as a team, uh, you know, for your coach to think so highly of you guys as far as your, your work ethic and effort. Oh, it says a lot because, you know, a lot of teams would just fold and just say, you know, oh, I'll just quit, and we didn't want to do that. We know we're a young team, so we know we're playing for the future, and we know if we ended the season bad, it would lead into next year. But we know if we ended it good, it would start our next season off really good. Absolutely. And what do you think the team really approved on as the season wore on? Well, I say doing the little things, you know, diving on loose balls, getting rebounds, just playing a lot harder. You know, the biggest problem in our season was starting off bad and then playing hard in the second half. So I think as the season went on, we started playing hard the whole 40 minutes instead of just playing hard for 25 minutes or 20 minutes. Absolutely. And what's the main area that the team needs to improve on before next season? I say our strength. Our strength. You know, a lot of us are freshmen, a lot of us sophomores, so a lot of us are still weak in areas, you know, ball handling, uh, rebounding, just strength inside. So I think the weight room is going to be our biggest improvement this year. We're going to get a lot stronger for next year. Absolutely. And what do you, what do you personally are going to work on this offseason? Like, what's, what's your main focus, and what do you think the weakest part of your game is going into next year that you like to work on? Well, my main focus is my strength. Basically. So being in the weight room a lot more, protein, um, eating right, uh, getting in the gym, working on, you know, off the dribble, making moves, making passes, and a lot of my footwork and quickness on the defensive end. That was probably my weakest part of my game this year was the defense. So I feel like um, this summer and offseason I'll work on that a lot. So next year I'll be a lot down offense as well as offensive playmaker. Absolutely. And what are your personal and team goals for next season? Um, I'll say team goals, you know, win conference, win SOCON. I feel like we have the pieces to do it. You know, we showed a little glimpse of it at the end of the season this year. So I feel like next year that's one of our goals is to win SOCON and win the um, regular season. And personal goals is try to do better than I did last year, as in assists, steals, defense, get all of my numbers up and help make my teammates better so we can be better as a team. Freshman of the year, Preston Parks. We will next be speaking with Zane Najdawi. Thanks for your time, Preston. Thank you. And we're now joined here by Zane Train Najdawi. Zane, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, good. So how do you think the freshman class adjusted to playing at the Division One level this season? Um, I feel like they adjusted really well uh, first. I could tell they weren't they weren't used to the style they weren't used to college basketball.
But uh, as the season went on, uh, a lot of them stepped up and they really got into the groove and adjusted well. Absolutely. So you have um, Operation Find a Way, and you had that early on in the preseason. I got to cover some of that and follow you guys around. What does that do, especially as a, as a young guy coming in? You know, it's a pretty unique thing that you guys do. How does that, I guess, how does that help transition to you guys' style of play? Um, it really helps because it's, it's not fun uh, doing it, but we have to do it to, to be able to be conditioned for how we play. Uh, builds chemistry um, between the team uh, and leadership. People start to lead, even though they don't realize it, they just help others, encourage others to push through it, Absolutely. and it uh, really helps us for the season. Absolutely. So you earned two SOCOM Player of the Week honors during the 2016-17 season. What does that mean to you, especially only being a sophomore and really starting to get into the swing of things in your career? Uh, it means a lot. Um, it shows that uh, the work I put in is showing, and uh, only being a sophomore, uh, hopefully I can get more uh, junior and senior year. Absolutely. And so with no current juniors on the team, uh, how does it feel to know that you, Matt Frierson, and Quason are going to be the leaders in the team next season? I mean, you guys are top dogs next year. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking uh, <laughs> only being a junior. But uh, I feel like we'll be, we'll be good and we'll have even uh, some of the sophomores next year that were freshmen, they'll help uh, too. So it's not going to be like we're the seniors telling people what to do and stuff. It's going to be a joint leadership. Absolutely. So you posted six double-doubles this season. What was the difference between your game last year and this year? Um, I feel like it was being more versatile. Last year, I kind of was just like drop-offs and uh, just like scoring around the basket. And this year, I stepped out a little, so it opened more things up for me scoring. Uh, I rebounded better, a lot better. I think I only averaged four rebounds last year. So the team won three of the last four games before losing a close one at UNCG. You guys had them, looked like, for about 35 minutes of that game. What was the, what was the difference in those last couple of games for you guys? What, what made you guys turn it on? Um, I feel like it was just effort. Everyone, we were tired of losing. Uh, people wanted, wanted to win and were hungry. Uh, we knew if it's that time to turn it on for the tournament. So everyone just played as hard as they could for 40 minutes every game. And uh, the outcome was good for some of the games. Absolutely. And what do you think the team really improved on this season, especially as the season wore on? Um, I'd say we improved in our hustle, our hustle plays. Uh, we, Coach B had us doing a lot of um, effort drills and toughness drills. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really showed in some of the games, uh, especially Western Carolina. We were the team we first played, we weren't as tough. Mm -hmm. And then uh, during the tournament, we came and we showed how, uh, how tough those, those practices were. Absolutely. And w what's the main area the team needs to improve on before next season? Uh, like Preston said, the strength. Um, we're always mostly going to be undersized in a lot of the games we play. So we need to be uh, strong and prepared for the bigger guys we play. What will you personally really work on this offseason, and what do you think the weakest part of your game is going into next year? What would you like to focus on the most? Um, I would say strength and uh, quickness and um, finishing around the basket for me. Uh, I started off really well finishing around the basket, and then uh, I guess fatigue wore in. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if, I'm, if I get strong in the beginning of the year, hopefully I'll be able to keep it up Absolutely. throughout the year. Absolutely. And what are your personal and team goals for next season? Personal goals, um, just improve on my numbers from last year, help the team win more games than we did last year, and a team goal is win the SOCON and uh, win more games than we did last year. Absolutely. Zane Najdawi, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be talking to Coach Duger Balkum right after this. And now joining us is head coach Duger Balkum. Duger, how are you doing today? Good. You had 10 wins last season and then posted 12 this year, which is the most by a second year head coach at Citadel since, I believe, 1986-87. What have been the keys to that improvement? Good players, I think. <laughs> uh, and the returning players' uh, familiarity with the system. I think uh, they've done a great job of buying in, but uh, the freshman class was really good, I thought. Uh, sophomores matured a year. They weren't freshmen anymore. Mm -hmm. So a combination of all that, I think, helped, even though we had a little lull uh, in the season where we went through a stretch of losses. Uh, we certainly finished strong and uh, a sign, I think, of what can come.
Absolutely. And, you know, most freshmen typically have some time to learn the system and get used to the style of play, but you had two freshmen starting the first game of the season. So how do you think having that class as a whole, how do you think they adjusted to playing at the Division One level? I think they did awesome. Uh, you know, we put a lot of responsibility on them from day one when they reported in the summer and um, told them we expected them all to play. You don't have kind of time to wade in the water. You know, you just got to get out there. And I think, uh, well, I'm sure at some point during the season, all five of our scholarship freshmen started a game at some point in time. Some started more than others. I think Frankie Johnson started all but two. Um, Preston was so good coming off the bench, even though he would have started on any other team in the league, uh, he found success coming off the bench. It was whatever the team needed is how he approached things. And other guys came along at their own pace. Unfortunately, Kaylin Harris gets hurt, but uh, has a remarkable freshman season up to that point. And then Leo and Ezekiel, what they were able to do uh, as freshmen was, was pretty special. So you have the season, the team shattered eight single season records um, and six, I'm sorry, six single uh, game records and eight single season team records. So how do you build on that success moving forward? Well, I think next year of familiarity, the guys will kind of know what to expect. Uh, I mean, even in preseason conditioning and all that, um, now it's going to be vital for, uh, since we don't have any seniors next year, for our sophomore class this year, who will be juniors, those three guys, to be good leaders for the freshmen. And then the freshmen be who are now going to be sophomores, be leaders to the new freshmen, our incoming class, um, which they know all those guys already, but just be uh, good teachers. It's great when coaches don't have to do all the teaching. Absolutely. Uh, so they can, uh, you know, peer, peer tutoring is a good thing and um, hopefully provide that leadership and uh, knowledge to those guys. What do you think the freshmen improved on most this season? Probably overall just maturity and being comfortable and um, – learning a little bit of shot selection, you know, what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, how how hard you have to play. Like, our, my whole deal with them is play harder for longer. Mm -hmm. And I think as we moved on, that got better. Um, certainly towards the end of the season, I think they became, you know, they, you're not freshmen anymore after 28 games, you know. You're, right. you're more of a sophomore, and um, I thought we were certainly better uh, late. And I think most of that was just maturity. So you have, you know, like you just mentioned, you have three junior or three sophomores going to be juniors. You have this uh, freshman class going to be sophomores, and you're bringing in five new guys this year as well. What does that say? This is really the first time since you've been here where you have legitimately all of your recruits, your guys. So how exciting is that moving forward? Yeah, it's it's neat. Um, you know, the guys really get along. Uh, they know they were all brought here for a reason. Uh, the freshmen took amazing ownership in that we're going to be the guys that get this thing turned around as our freshman class did last year, and then credit Warren, Brian, and Tom for buying into that also, though they won't be playing to see that change. You know, they were in the infancy of it. Uh, they were the beginning, so, um, so they have some ownership in that also. But this freshman class really took it to heart that, hey, we're, the, we're gonna change this. Uh, not only change the culture, but change winning, and, and um, you know, we're gonna be the faces of the future. And, and kind of piggybacking off of that, you know, I, I saw your post-game press conference after the UNCG game, and you talked about how this might be the most resilient team you've ever had. What does that say about these young guys already that had that type of work, you know, work ethic? And they're they're really, I mean, they're fighting the last last second of that game. Yeah, the most remarkable thing about them is we never had bad practices. Like even in our losing streak, they came in every day thinking we were going to win the next game, and there was never any. Um, um, ill will or cave-in on their part. It, they were very resilient. And uh, it was a tough loss we had here against Western Carolina. And for them to bounce back and get that road win against Sanford, who was playing as good as anybody in the league. Uh, and then I always said, if we could just get the lid off, uh, you know, <laughs> we're practicing well. If we could just have some success in a game, all those comebacks that we had and just never could get over the hump. If we could get the lid off, great things could happen and uh, get Sanford and Chattanooga and then win a tournament game and then you know, with six minutes to go lead UNCG, who's the best team in the league. So, you know, so credit those guys, not only their resiliency, but their character and uh, believing in us and believing in each other, more importantly. Absolutely. And t talk a little bit about the, the freshmen you have coming to Charleston this fall. What are going to be some of the key guys and their contributions to next, uh, next year's team? We'll start with uh, Hayden Brown, uh, an All-State kid also, who was a state champion a year ago um, from Burns High School up in Spartanburg. He's going to bring us a lot of depth at the four position. He's an inside-outside guy, can play multiple positions, strong kid, already has a college body. So uh, Hayden will, you know, come in and play immediately. We have Derek Webster, who played for a state championship in Tampa, in Florida, 
and um, he's a uh, kind of undersized but explosive uh, post presence. He'll play mostly around the basket, great rebounder, good defender. Um, and then Rob Johnson would be uh, the third guy in that trio, and he's a 6'8 post player who actually won a state championship at uh, Dillard High School down in Fort Lauderdale. So uh, all those guys come from winning programs as um, our other two commitments. Uh, so it's, it's neat to, to have a little bit of that uh, champion spirit in them already. They know what it takes, and they've had some success, and they'll, the greatest thing, they'll expect continued success here. And what are some of the needs uh, that those freshmen will fill? I, I'm assuming, you know, they're going to have vital roles. You lose three guys. you got three guys that are probably going to get into the rotation at least. You know, what, what are some of the roles that you see them filling right away? Well, Rob and Hayden will bring, and Derek, I mean, they all bring us some size. Um, uh, Derek is an is a extremely strong kid and has some girth about him, and uh, Hayden the same way, uh, but also versatile. They're mobile. And then Rob gives us length and some size. So they'll all help us rebounding, which is probably our greatest efficiency. And that was a need going out. My staff did an awesome job of locating these guys and then building relationships with them to get them here. Uh, so they're going, they'll help in that aspect immediately. But they're also very, uh, they're good kids, good character kids, good students uh, who will help us uh, not only in the core, but on the court and just be great teammates, which in the end, that's, the, that's kind of the main thing. <laughs> and you heard it here, Citadel Bulldog fans. We're looking forward to next season for the Citadel basketball team. That is a recap of the 2016-2017 season. Go dogs!